first. Yeah. I brought with me the Omni, 4,155 pages. When was it produced? In the dead of the night, 1.30 in the morning when it was released. Now, people argue that it's conservatives' fault. It's, you don't have the Christmas spirit. Somehow you're holding up government. Well, whose job is it to produce this? The people in charge of spending. The people in charge of both of the parties. When did they know that this would be necessary? Well, it's in the law, September 30th. You got nine months, almost 10 months, to produce a plan, to have a spending plan. They weren't ready on September 30th, so they voted themselves 90 more days. They weren't ready last week either, so they voted themselves another week. And now we have it at 1.30 in the morning this morning. But what's the clamor? The clamor is to vote. Vote now. Let's get it done. Why are you standing in the way of spending? Well, the real question is this. What is more dangerous? What is more dangerous to the country? $1.1 trillion in new debt, or as Republican leadership likes to say, oh, but it's a win. It's a big win. We're getting $45 billion for the military. So which is more important? Which threatens the country more? Are we at risk for being invaded by a foreign power if we don't put $45 billion into the military? Or are we more at risk by adding to a $31 trillion debt? I think the greatest risk to our national security is our debt. The process stinks. It's an abomination. It's a no good, rotten way to run your government. $6 trillion entity, and they want 24 hours to process this, and then they want to go forward. I will be demanding two amendments. One, that this goes against the budget rules. The PAYGO rules say you can't do this. You can't have all this new spending unless it's offset. We will also be demanding that the PAYGO rules are increased. Instead of taking 60 votes to evade the rules, we're going to ask that it be a two-thirds vote to evade the rules. The American people don't want this. They're sick and tired of it. They are paying for it through the nose with inflation. Adding a trillion dollars to the deficit will simply fuel the fires that are consuming our wages and consuming our retirement plans. It's a terrible system. Someone needs to stand up. We're standing up, and we're going to say no. I'd like to just uh, answer that question as well. Unfortunately, this is misreported all of the time. Every day in the hallway, they say, are you going to hold up this spending bill? Are you going to be the fly in the ointment that allows government to shut down? Instead of the honest answer, when did they learn that there was a deadline for spending, and why didn't they meet the deadline? The deadline for spending is September 30th. Every year, they didn't meet it. They were given 90 additional days. And last week, that deadline came, and they didn't meet it. They were given an additional week, and with that week mostly gone, they come forward and say, and then all of a sudden, it's conservatives' fault for blocking this? No. They know the rules. The rules of the Senate haven't changed. It takes a week to pass a bill in the Senate. And people say, are you going to hold it up? No, it's like, am I going to grant a speeding up of the bill, an expediting of the bill? This is about us doing a special favor to the people who are bankrupting the country. They're in charge. They know the deadlines. It is all on them. These people I would not put in charge of a Minute Mart and three gas stations, much less a $6 trillion economy. They know the deadlines. They fail every year. They bring it to Christmas, and then they blame conservatives. And the thing is, people say, well, you won't vote for a spending bill. Sure I will. I'll vote for 99% of what we spent last year. You do that for five years, and you'll just about balance your budget.